Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson, and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 34. This week, I'm gonna show you a tip in Photoshop, so I will see you in a minute in that program. Talk to you soon. Okay, so before we go into Photoshop, this is the photo we are going to be working on. This is the original image. And as you can see by this image, what we're going to be changing is a few things. So first of all, her bangs are not perfect. There's some spaces in her bangs that um, this particular real estate agent, her bangs are always full. So we missed a few spots, so we're going to fix that. As well as you can see that some of her hairs are going into her eye there. Um, so we are going to fix that as well. So in the next image, which is going to show um, in two seconds, um, right now you can see that we have filled her bangs so now they are nice and smooth and then in the next image you're gonna see that we fixed her eye and we just smoothed out her face a little bit so we're gonna be going through these steps in Photoshop so here you have it so here we are in Photoshop and what we're going to do is we're going to do the bangs first. So we're um, grabbing the marquee tool and we're just going to feather slightly at about 5% and we're going to select a part of her bangs that are full. So what we're going to do is select it, we're going to copy it, so you go edit, copy, and then edit, paste. So this will create a new layer with the bang. You can use shortcuts as well if you're familiar with that. Command C or Apple C and then Apple V. So we're going to move over the bang and, uh, and then we're going to go to edit free transform and we're going to angle the bang so it's in a natural position. And uh, so you just want to angle it till you're, um, you've got it looking good. Okay, then we're going to um, apply the transformation here and uh, we're going to take the eraser, we're going to soften the brush and we're just going to erase um, around the uh, the bottom where we um, and the sides so we're just gonna take the eraser we're gonna erase around the um, harsher areas and uh, just keep it as natural as possible so there you go now see the before and after I just don't like that uh, little harsh shadow there so we're gonna uh, take that down a little bit there you go Okay, and we're going to duplicate this layer. And uh, here we go. And then we're going to go to Edit Transform. Um, we're going to move it over there. Edit Transform. And then flip uh, horizontally. Then we're going to go to Edit, Free Transform again. And we're going to angle it so that it's a natural angle for um, this particular girl. Okay, so now we have it in a nice position and um, we're going to apply the transformation and um, we're going to change the opacity a little bit. Take it down so it's a little more natural. Okay, take it down. You can play with your opacity levels and, and just see the way that you like it. We're going to take it down to about 74 there and then we're just gonna uh, take our eraser tool and just make sure there's no uh, hair going over her eye and just make it perfect so there you go now here it is without the two layers of the bangs and there they are perfect okay so now we're ready to move on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this area around her eye the hair that's going into our, her eyes so we're gonna flatten the image so now we're going to take our marquee tool again and we're going to copy this side of her eye. Um, the right side, the right eye here, we're going to copy this. So here we go, we're going to select it. Okay, and then we're going to go edit, copy. You can see the shortcuts there that it's um, Command C and Command V. So we're going to take that piece over to the other eye. Then we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontally, and uh, we're just going to put it in position there. And uh, we're going to erase um, up top there so it's really natural. And we're going to erase underneath a little bit as well. 
So this, uh, this layer goes over top of the hair, um, which makes it a nice um, view. We're just going to go to edit and um, we're going to just free transform it a little bit so it's in the right position. Okay, so we're going to go to edit, free transform, going to angle it, bring it down a little bit. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to apply the transformation. Okay, so now you can see there's still hair on her um, eye there. So what we're going to do now is take the clone stamp and we're going to clone uh, her eye. So we're going to make our brush the size that we need. We've got our clone um, stamp and we're just going to copy her eye there, her eye color, and we're going to clone over top of the hair that is in her eye. So as you can see, we're just taking the color from her eye, we're cloning it, and um, and filling that in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the marquee tool again, we're going to select an area of her eye so we have the proper um, edging around her eye. We're going to go to Edit Copy, Edit Paste again, make a new layer, we're going to bring it up, and then we're going to Edit Free Transform. And we're going to move it so that it's in position, move it over there so her eye is perfect. Okay, then we're going to apply the transformation. So as you could see from the last little image, we're just going to darken her eyelashes just to go over any um, little bit of her bang that are left over her eyelashes. So we're going to grab the burn tool and um, we're just going to change the size of the brush, make it small, and we're just going to burn over the eyelashes just to make them nice and um, consistent in their coloring. And then we're just going to go under her eye just a little bit, darken it a little bit just to give her um, her eyes a little bit more punch. So there you have it. We're going to do the other eye here. And there you go. Now we're just going to um, smooth out her skin. Here, I'm going to show you a before here. And uh, there's the after. Okay, now we're going to take the clone tool right here, the clone stamp. So we're going to change our brush size to a little bit um, bigger because we're going to be uh, smoothing out her skin just a little bit. So there you go. We're going to do the alt to get the, uh, the cloning and we're just going to um, clone her skin just a little bit and make it smooth. The opacity that we use for the clone tool is always under 13%. So we are under 13%. And uh, we're just going to clone her cheekbone there, make it nice and, uh, and flowing. And there you have it. So I brought over our history, and we're going to look at the before and after. So here's the before, and here's the after. I really hope you enjoyed Tuesday's tip. And just remember, everyone has a different way of... Um, using Photoshop. So the way that I do it may not be the way you were taught and it's just everybody's going to do things a little different. Thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip and we will see you next week. Have a great day guys and I hope you're enjoying these. Leave your comments below and you YouTube users, if you are not a fan on Facebook yet, you will want to do that just to be up to date with the latest shots. Sometimes we discuss future Tuesday's tips. So you will want to head on over there and take a look. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Fine Images Inc.